Hey, this is Yusuf, my channel. Once again, I got <coughs> a question uh, from someone. And it says, um, Hi Yusuf, I appreciate your videos and the work you put into researching the topics you discuss. A lot of the times it's just from memory. This is stuff that I've been studying and researching for well over 10 years. Um, that's why sometimes I'll be quoting somebody and I won't remember. I'll be like, is it Origen or Tertullian that said that? You know, I'll, um, because it's some of the church fathers I've read more than 10 years ago and, and, and didn't go back to them. <laughs> um, uh, I saw in one of your video, in one of your videos I saw, and puts in uh, parentheses, I think it may have been, on John the Hutwell, you briefly mentioned you think women should cover their hair in churches. I've been thinking a lot about this some time now. In an email I was writing to a priest turned into an essay before I knew it. I started a blog to talk about religious topics. I would appreciate your feedback and information from people like you. I don't mean to put you on the spot. You may not have much interest in this particular topic. You probably get a ton of emails. If you have time, I would appreciate it if you read the post and shared your information. I have missed or correct things I might have gotten wrong. Oh, I'm supposed to go through an email. Um, okay, so I guess this will just be part one of the response. Um, yeah, I said that... Um, I think I said that a while ago. That people say, well, is that an influence from Islam or a hangover from Islam? Maybe. I don't know. Well, my subconscious or conscious or, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, in orthodoxy, it's issue of economy. I remember Paul said this to one church, and the church that he said it to was current, the church at Corinth, which was a very seedy, racy thing. And it's because the women that didn't cover their hair were there was a sign of prostitution. He says men shouldn't cover their head. Um, and I guess there could be debate going back and forth. Is this why the Jews adopted the yarmulke? Or is, is, I mean, was their reaction? Because this time there was no real, you know, split. There was a split, but there, it, it's very strange when you talk to people, you get different ideas, different dates, or different places, and, and there is different dates for different places of when Judaism and Christianity really took uh, took a split, and Christianity went into its own, and then you had the Judaism that reacted to that, and those are the two su surviving branches. We don't have basically a pure, untainted, pre-Christian branch of, of the Jews existing today. Um, because of the last 2,000 years. And just because, um, again, anytime um, controversies are settled or things like this, it always, it's always to settle something, but it usually winds up dividing or, 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 or making a specific stance on something because it's reacting to another thing. Um, in the Antiochian um, churches here in America, the, the, there is no um, pressure or even request for women to cover their hair because of the majority of the people um, are coming from Muslim lands where they're forced to cover their hair, forced to wear hijab. Um, You'll find hair, women covering hair um, much more uh, in the Slavonic churches, especially the Russian churches, Ukrainian churches, um, and many times at funerals, women will cover their hair. Um, I don't know whether I'm for or against it at this point. Again, some of my, I mean, none of my belief has changed about orthodoxy. But how to carry that out, and how to um, how it should be practiced, of my own personal views, somewhat changed. But I think I even mentioned in that video that it's it's 
you go by what the bishop says in, in which parish you're in. Now, of course, if a woman walks into a par an Orthodox parish with her, with her head covered, they're not going to, you know, she's not going to, people are going to think, oh, that's good, you know, that that's, you know, hey, unless there might be Protestant converts there who think, oh, well, that's, uh, oh, that's just a throwback or something like that. And and I remember women covering her hair even when I was at the Anglican church that were, this is very, very charismatic, but it was Anglo-Catholic. You know, in in its way, it was not hostile towards. Um, I don't mean Anglo in that they the Pope and the seven sacraments and stuff like that, but in um, in their view of of having I don't know some type of relationship or, some, or they wanted more of a connection to the ancient church of you know between the first century and the sixth century and how that was expressed. Um, so, uh, yeah, I will take a look at your, uh, blog, although, as you know, it's not every day now that I'm making videos, or at least it hasn't been for the last few days, it's usually every other day I put up a video, and I may put up one, um, but yeah, I'll take a look at this, uh, it's no problem, um, but yeah, it's certainly, when I go into an Orthodox Church, I don't, um, Again, if you if you look at somebody and say, "Oh, well, they're dressed up. What are they doing? Or they're they're wearing a headscarf. What are they doing? Or they're not covering their hair. What are they doing? Or you know, they're not dressed properly. Why is it? any of those thoughts? Any of those those four thoughts is worse than somebody actually covering their head or not covering their head or dressing up or not dressing up. That you should be more concerned um, with how you are in the sanctuary of God, um, and not another person. We can remember the Pharisee and the, the publican um, who walked in the temple, the parable that Christ told, I believe, in the Gospel of Luke. Um, and uh, we should always recall to mind that. Um, but yeah, hijab started, I mean, the covering of women covering their hair for religious reasons, especially when going into church, is very Christian. Um, and this is where Islam got it from, and then it expanded out, because even to this day, well, not to this day, in, in the 90s, um, you would, one of my biggest things that irked me when I was going to the masjid is you'd see women pull off their hijab once they walked out of the masjid. Um, because there's no no woman that's going to pray in a masjid with ma a mosque a mosque I should say mosque so you probably don't know what masjid is mosque um, without their head covered um, and there's different types of head coverings I, I knew people who came over from the units who had the it's almost like um it's like a weave material it's like a veil it's got like you know you can see through it you know um cover their hair in that manner so there's there's different ways of doing it and there's whether it's tied or whether it hangs um or whether it's wrapped you know like um you see in the case of jihad uh hijab so i'll get back to you on that um so i guess so this will be just be part one all right peace to you may god save serbia and syria please pray for all those who are suffering those who need surgery um those who are near death um those who are ill, um, and those who have lost anybody um, this past year. Peace to you. May God save Serbia and Syria.